What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the Thai Live channel. I'm Min Thai, and in this podcast for you today, I want to talk to you about why is it that when it comes to the nail industry and nail technician, we get one of the worst clientels. If you compare to other beauty industry like hair, lash, esthetician, masseuse, you don't hear a lot of stories. But when it comes to a nail salon and a nail tech, and when the clients is mad at us, they go on the internet and they blast that nail tech and the nail salon. Why is it that we are the only industry that people are running out? We don't deserve that. But we need to talk about it. Before we start the show, you know how we like to get down? Mm. Get them popcorn. Mm. This about to be raw. Mm. I got a lot on my mind. Mm. Mm. Let, let's calm down real quick, y'all. Let's just calm down real quick. This is ridiculous, right? I'm not making this up. If you go on social media, how many times and how often do you see a viral video of a person sitting in their car or sitting in their room crying and complaining about a nail tech experience that they didn't like? I didn't expect to be paid for this. I didn't like my nails. And I told him I didn't like it. But he expect me to pay for it. And call the cops on me because I didn't want to pay for it. So I had to end up paying for it. And now I'm mad because I, I had to pay for something I don't like. And now I'm here telling you all about it. Do you feel sorry for me? No, I don't. No, I don't. Because it's just nails. I always tell people nails are fixable. You don't like something, you tell the nail tech, they fix it for you. Let me ask you this. Do you think us nail tech wake up every single morning and say, Who cl which client am I going to F up their nails? No. We want peace and love. That's all we want. We want peace and love because we work freaking hard. We've been working six days a week. Sometimes we work seven days a week. Why do we want to wake up and pick violence? It's you. You are the problem. If you don't speak up to something you don't like, that's your fault. You need to speak up. And if that person is not responding back to you. Go ask for a match. Make something happen. But instead, you wait until the end and you fight over with the nail tech that you don't want to pay. That's ridiculous. Why? What went through your head that you think that just because you complain about something, you shouldn't pay for the service? You didn't buy an item, honey. You buy an item, you don't like it, you can return it. How do you return a service? We can't take back the hand of times. Okay? You don't like something, speak up so that in the middle of the service, we can fix it for you. So that's what I'm trying to say. Why us nail tech always get the crazy client that does these stuff? You never see people go online and be like, oh, yeah, this person, you know, didn't give me a good massage, kind of, you know, broke my elbow. You never hear people say stuff like that. Oh, yeah, this one girl, you know, she put lashes on my eyes and um, they fall off. No. But just us nail tech making a mistake, y'all go and blast us out on social media. You see what I mean by we get the worst kind of clientele compared to all the other beauty industry? I have more example for you. We are the only industry out there who people go in and say, you know what? Let's plan this out. Four of us go inside, and then three of us gets our nails done, and you, girl, yes, you, the youngest one, you go ahead and run around, make distraction, and then once we get the service, one of us just run out one at a time. Why? They're just nails. Why do we get that kind of clients? They run in, got auntie over here working hard, Got uncle over here working hard, and they don't even want to pay us. And you know what else I see inside the salon? I'm going to lay it all out for y'all, man. This is about to get as real as it gets right here. 
even if we make a mistake, we cut you a little bit with the nipper because we want to clean it really well. Or maybe your ass was moving and we accidentally nipped you. Clients will want a discount for that. The client will be like, mm, I didn't come in like that. I didn't have a boo-boo on my toe. I don't want to walk out with a boo-boo because I didn't walk in with a boo-boo. It's a boo-boo. You're going to move on. You're going to live. But instead, it's like, so is there anything you guys can do for me since, you know, I didn't come in with the boo-boo and you guys cost me to have that boo-boo? Of course. A $5 discount will shut anything up. Yes, yes, ma'am. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and give you a $5 discount. Okay, that's great. Go ahead and keep on. Why? Why do we get these kind of clients? Let me know. If, if you guys are experienced some kind of crazy client in your industry, let me know. Because I used to do hair. I don't get a lot of crazy clients in the hair industry. I used to do waxing. I don't get a lot of clients crazy in that waxing industry. I've done lashes before. No, but when it comes to the nails, I just don't get it, y'all. As a nail tech, we go to work. We don't want to pick violence because some of us are out there working six days, seven days. We don't want to wake up and be like, oh, let's go ahead and mess up one of the client's nails for fun today. No, we don't want that. We want money. We want a good tip. That means we have to give you good service. But unfortunately, there's clients out there. Y'all just don't have respect for us. And the moment we raise our price, some of y'all go online and y'all start blasting us like, why are nail tech so expensive? Why? It used to be $30. Yeah, 20 years ago. Did you know the gasoline used to be like 20 cents back in the, you know, 1800, even whatever. Okay. You know, my point It's called inflation. Things going to get expensive. Stop expecting stuff for free. And if you keep complaining about it, you don't need to go to the salon. There's other clients out there going to love the service that we do because it's a luxurious service. Nail is never, has never been a necessity unless you just go in for a nail clip. Because to me, that's a necessity. That's something you need to have for like elderly people. But I'm talking to you youngster out there who thinking like, oh, nails supposed to be this much. And y'all don't even work in the industry. Why do we get the ending, the bad clients complaining about that all the time? Every single freaking year, you guys want to get a raise when you guys work for a company. Us nail tech, we also deserve a raise. Don't you think? And on top of that, I get people talking about, oh, salon people, they don't sanitize their tools. They're dirty. Maybe that's just the salon that you're going to, but you are not speaking for every single salon out there. Saying that we are dirty, we don't sanitize the tools. Okay? It is your problem that you're still going to the salon that have bad practice. Not the salon's problem. Let's keep it real here, okay? Let's not try blame on everything. And the moment all shit goes loose, y'all start claiming like, oh, that's a chop shop. Yeah. There's there's bad business and good business everywhere. But we need to stop summing up. How nail techs function just because y'all saw some bad videos on social media. Because you know what? We got a lot of videos how clients run out the door too. But we don't go online blasting that client. We don't go do anything. We continue to work. We continue to stay focused. Because all we care about is surviving and making sure that we live happily. And we just want to be good. That's it, guys. So I hope... After this podcast right here, you guys able to understand that us nail tech, 
we are very classy. We educated people. You know a lot of nail tech out there. They went from nursing. They went from medical field. They were at like an attorney. They shift becoming a nail tech. There's a lot of different types. Back in the day, a lot of us came to America. Maybe that was the only job that would get us the stepping stones. But in this generation, we got a lot of people are committed, passionate about being a nail tech. So you cannot say all of us nail techs are bad chips because you have one bad experience. You find a bad salon, you move on, you find a good nail tech. That's all you need to do. And on top of that, all the tools that we use, we don't care. One person we use, we throw it away. You know all these nail tech right here? It's not like they cheap. It's not like they poor. They will spend the money on their clients if that client respects them. You know what the old saying is, that, right? You, you respect others like how you want to be respected. And that's how us nail tech wants to be respected. You don't understand how many times clients walk in, I want my nails done. Who, who, who? We're not just a pawn. We're not just a robot. And the reason why sometimes you get nail tech getting upset at you easy because they've been treated so badly, y'all. That's why I'll be honest with you. Ever since I started this career, like doing podcasting and social media, I stand by the clients. I stand by the nail tech. I stand by the community to help you guys understand that we really care about you guys. And we want the best for you guys as a client. As a nail tech, we want the best for our clients. That's 100% sure. I don't care what you think, but I'm just going to tell you that right now. We really care for you. And that's why we love you long time. And please, you know, if you guys ever go get your nails done, just know that, hey, your nail tech really cares about you. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. I just had to let you guys know that we cannot have an industry where people are just thinking we're that bad. We're not. Thank you for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this segment. Let me know in the comment what do you guys think. Let me know what you guys have experienced, pros and cons. Other than that, I'll see you on my next segment. But before we end the show, relax them bones. Mm, that was so intense. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, that was crazy, right, y'all? Peace. See y'all next time. <laughs>